hello and happy monday guys welcome back to the vlog uh, if you're new to the channel my name is precious and i'm a fourth year med student i'm currently on my such specialty pediatrics rotation um, i make med school related videos and lifestyle related videos so if you're interested make sure you subscribe so like I mentioned, I am on my um, pediatric subspecialty rotation, this portion of it. Um, so this week I'm going to be doing hematology, um, some developmental pediatrics. Um, Monday today I actually had off, so this morning I spent um, home studying, reviewing some ob guide material because I do have um, Step 2 CS coming up in August for a few more weeks of that. Um, just wanted to change up the scenery a little bit, so I'm going to head to the coffee shop um, and do some year-old questions. And when I get back, I'll give you guys an update about what I will be expecting fourth year, um, what rotations I'm going to have, and what specialty I decided on. Also, before I go, what do you guys think about the new glasses? Um, I got some blue light glasses, um, supposed to protect your eyes. I got a few different styles that I'm trying out. Let me know what you guys think. Currently, there's a heat wave across several states in the U.S. I don't know if Georgia is a part of it, but it is blazing out here today. Okay, so I am back. Um, I was able to knock out a lot of you world questions, um, so that was pretty good. A little bit later, I'm going to start reviewing um, some psych material and then prepare for tomorrow. I have um, hematology, so I'm just going to read up a little bit on that. So as far as the specialty that I chose, the specialty I'm going to be applying to for residency, it is emergency medicine. <laughs> So um, if you've been following my channel for a while, now you probably already had an idea that I was leaning towards emergency medicine. Um, you know, coming in, obviously I have an open mind, but uh, coming in I knew I had an interest in emergency medicine. And going through the different specialties throughout third year, which are like surgery, ob family medicine, psychiatry, um, internal medicine. I really, um... I enjoyed a lot of them, but I couldn't see myself doing those specialties long term. Um, and for me, I know I get bored very quickly. And um, obviously, emergency medicine, that's not somewhere where you're going to be bored. Um, obviously, it's not always trauma. Um, you do have your fair share of primary care issues. But I do like the variety that you get with um, emergency medicine. I think my personality is pretty good for EM as well. Um, I'm often described as e even kill, you know, I keep my cool, so um, high pressure situations, um, the fast paced environment, um, I think I'll be able to handle that well. And I also like, um, you know, the procedural aspect of emergency medicine, like intubations, um, inserting chest tubes, um, lacerations, um, central lines, so different things like that. And um, a big factor to consider when choosing a specialty is the lifestyle that, you, uh, that you'll that you have. Um, with emergency medicine, you work anywhere from 12 to 16 shifts a month. I always said for me as a physician, um, I know my career is being a physician, but I also want to have a life outside of medicine. Um, so I believe emergency medicine gives you um, that good balance of being able to pursue different interests outside of your career. So now that I decided on emergency medicine, I kind of tailored my fourth year schedule to match that. So um, with emergency medicine, it is required that you do away rotations so that you can get slows, which are like evaluations from wherever program that you rotated at. So away rotations are pretty much fourth year electives done at different institutions or different programs. And essentially it's like a month long interview because that program can, you know, see how you are as an acting intern. You know, they'll treat you like an intern. So 
LA rotation, audition rotation, sub internship, these are all the same thing. Um, I'm going to be doing three during fourth year. Um, one of them is actually pretty far, so I'm going to fly up there. And then um, thankfully, the place where I'm staying is walking distance uh, from the hospital. And the other two um, OA rotations are actually pretty close by. Um, and then outside of the three emergency medicine um, rotations, I'm going to be doing a radiology rotation, anesthesia, um, medical, ICU, and then a research month. So I'll be done with all my electives in March. And so that's when fourth year ends for me. And then graduation is in May. So really looking forward to that. Um, I'm happy the, with the way that my schedule worked out. And it took me forever to secure my um, third away rotation. So that was pretty stressful, but very glad that one is secure. And then um, next month in August, I'll be taking step two CS. So slowly preparing for that as the clinical skills exam. So you'll have um, 12 patient encounters. You do a history and physical, work them up, come up with a differential diagnosis and come up with what tests and labs you want to order. And that's a pass fail exam. And then um, a few weeks after that, I'll be taking step two CK, which is the multiple choice um, exam, kind of similar to step one format. So it's like a nine hour exam, 320 questions, um, which is why I'm like slowly starting to review some of the old material like ob guide, psychiatry, which I'm going to do a little bit tonight. Um, I've already done surgery. And then internal, internal medicine I had um, last month. Was it June? Yeah, I finished internal in June, so that stuff is kind of fresh in my mind. But OB Gown is my first rotation, that's why I wanted to go back and start reviewing that um, slowly. These chips and um, guacamole is so good. But that was pretty much it for this video, just kind of an update video. But one thing before I go, I did want to let you guys know about these blue light glasses. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what blue light glasses are. So pretty much blue light is a type of naturally occurring light, but you find it more on like smartphones, tablets, um, computer screens. And if you're constantly staring at those kind of devices that can cause like eye strain, blurry vision, um, it can affect your sleep at night. So blue light glasses are made to protect your eyes from the excess blue light that you're receiving through the screen. So I've been trying out two different pairs. Um, this is the Thera, it's kind of like a champagne gold color. And then the second ones we can put on. These are the second. They have like a brown and black design to it. They're just super like stylish. Um, you can wear them every day. Um, I know a lot of people complain from headaches from staring at their screen too long or staring at their um, either computer screen or their phone. And I know a lot of people have the habit before they're going to sleep, they're in bed, they're just constantly staring at their phone. And that can cause bad sleep. So blue red glasses um, are a way to help with that. For me, I'm a student, so I'm obviously um, on my computer a lot either studying, writing notes, doing whatever, and I'm also on my phone a lot. So this is just a way to protect from um, the blue light that's emitted from those devices. So I'm gonna make more of an effort um, to use these glasses more often, um, just to protect my eyes, and I just love the way they look as well. Um, if you guys are interested in trying these out, you can use the code WCC5, and that'll save you $5, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. It's just a little update one, kind of short. Um, but thank you all for following along on this journey. I know a lot of you guys have been watching since my first year. Um, it's crazy to think I'm now in my fourth year and I'm going to be graduating in May. Um, and if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.